So there's a 1.03 version of Oblivion Lost, the mod that I was playing yesterday, the mod that I'm going to be playing today. So this version will hopefully crash a little bit less, might have a, a better translation, who knows? I doubt it has much better translation. But anyway, yeah, so the last one I've been playing, the one I've been playing the last couple of weeks has been uh, version 1.02, it turns out, because if I open up this little zip file, you can see right here, it says version 1.02 here. And then this one is even version 1.01, but, but the latest one they have here is version 1.02. So uh, that's cool, but obviously not what I'm looking for. There is a version 1.03 that you can just barely read probably, but it's that's where it is. And then there's a Google Translate, by the way, for anybody who is interested, if you go into the install folder, uh, let me see if it's in version 1.02. No, no, it's not. Okay. Hmm. That's right. If you go to solutionrui.doc in, in the version 1.03 folder, uh, it's there's a big old Russian document here, but if you go and throw it into the Google Translate, which has this cool next page feature now, which didn't before. So this is supposed to be Cordon, uh, as it says right there, it just, it doesn't show up in my, in this thing because I don't have that language installed for some reason, I don't know, whatever. I, I have some, some Cyrillic installed, but not other Cyrillic, I don't know, whatever. Uh, it's a fun thing. Anyway. So there's a Google Translate here. You can just throw it into Google Translate. It will spit out the general answers to all of the quests. So if you're stuck at any point, these should ideally be in the quest log in the in the Pip Boy, but whatever. But anyway, yeah. So this is something to keep in mind when you're playing it, when you're playing version 1.03. And I suspect that version 1.03 is the version that Warlocracy actually reviewed because I can't, I couldn't find half the stuff that Warlocracy was using in his review. And I was like, oh, okay, well, and then I found this 1.03 version, and then I was like, oh, okay, well, duh, of course. I thought he just installed a new version of S Asphalt, but no, 1.03 actually comes with a new version of Asphalt. Also, there is a manual that comes with version 1.03 that is also in Russian, but hey, there is a manual, which is kind of cool, but still, it is in Russian. <laughs> anyway, it's an eight-page manual. It's in Russian. That's cool. <laughs> but anyway, there is a version 1.03 of this mod. I just want to make that clear, and I have an updated link for version 1.03 if you'd like to play it. And I also wanted to make sure you knew that in version 1.03, there's a list of solutions for all the quests. So that you could get in there and finish it yourself if you got stuck anywhere. I forgot when I reinstalled it, I had to change all the settings. War never change. War, oh, hey, this isn't. Never change. Yeah. War never change. War never change. It's not going <laughs> anymore. Nice. Uh, anyway, Google Translate has some issues translating text from Russian most of the time. Microsoft Translator does a better job. Okay. Drop me a link to Microsoft Translator. I'll throw it in there. Maybe it can handle larger text files as well, which is another issue I have with Google Translate. And there was another one Deeple. People were recommending Deeple at one point as well. I also transferred the save games over, so they seem to be compatible between 2 and 1.02 and 1.03. So it's, uh, I will find out shortly if they are compatible or not, but you know. I was able to make it out of Oblivion Lost as a female character out of the intro area of Oblivion Lost easily in 1.02. Relatively easily. I'm going to sidestep a couple things. I wonder if you can get out of it in version 1.03 the same way. And that's one of the things we're going to find out today. Can you get through the intro area once again? as a female character in the updated version. Plus, uh, it turns out that when I tried to continue to play the game, that actually parts of the game were blocked off for me by crashy maps. I'm sure the reason the maps were crashy was because I had basically copied my save games over from 1.02 to 1.03 in the, in the hopes that they would work. Clearly, that's not the case. I'm pretty sure the maps will be fine the first time I get to them as a regular character, or as a, as a regular 1.03 character, rather with my new character, with my new version, whatever. Because <laughs> that's the way the save games work in Fallout 2. They are just, they don't really transfer. It's the way it usually is. Anyway, let's get this started here. And get in here uh, with the version 1.03, with the proper background, by the way. Because if you'll recall, the first time I was playing this, in 1.02, these this background was not there. It's because there were a bunch of configuration issues with 1.02 when it didn't install perfectly. I got it to run, of course, but it didn't install perfectly, so whatever. This one installed correctly. 
I did it one way, it didn't work. I did it the other way, which was root install, that did work. And I was like, okay, cool. Root install works, at least I can play it and I know what's going on. But I forgot to between last week and this week. I forgot to check the install. And I'm not going to do that on stream. I'm going to do it off stream, probably. We're not going to load a game. We're going to start a new game. Create a character. Let's create our new character. Based on what we've played so far, we can we can definitely tag small guns, and then we'll later on we'll tag big guns. And do I still want to do some unarmed? But then there's also speech checks. Uh, no, we're not going by without outdoorsmen though. The, those anomaly encounters are flipping terrible. That is a 100% you need outdoorsmen. Just just to have the option of saying no, you need outdoorsmen. <laughs> Especially since the car is not really an option. Lady Punch Fist? Okay. You can take out the U, call it Punch Fist. Fist. There we go. There we go. That fits. Lady Punch Fist. Uh, male, female. There we go. Make her the spiky green hair chick versus the red hair because there's a few more options. Look at that. Look at, it. Look at all these new options. Nice. There's the blonde that somebody added in. There's the redhead, and here's the new slightly. I like the coloring a little bit better than the redhead and the blonde compared to the original, as you can see. The more updated you get, the more options you get. There's three new options for uh, your player character. Here's the base one. Here's a long-haired one. Here's a bald, shaved bald one here, and here's dreadlocks. I don't know if you, that's not dreadlocks, but all right, whatever. And then you have the female characters, and there's one. Here's the base one. Two, here's a blonde, golden curls, whatever. Three, bunch of fiery hair is a redhead. Four is a new green mohawk. You fiery redhead. Or maybe the green spiky hair guy, girl. Either way, you definitely need agility, at least nine, probably ten. Um, I can get a, an NPC right away, so I have no problem taking small frame. Or that extra point of agility. Right there. I do believe that I will probably want some extra points of perception. I took gifted last time. I think I will avoid gifted this time. I think I'll take the extra skill points instead. Maybe I should do... Okay, tag unarmed as well. I don't know. Is it punch fist or is it punch face? I can make it punch... I can make it either. Right now it's punch fist. I can make it punch face. I just can't fit any more letters in there. Lady punch face. Nah, whatever. You know, let's, give, let's, let's give her the her proper name for the proper thing taking small frame not going to take anything else always the small frame i really like that extra point of agility i mean if you have party members i feel like the trade-off is inconsequential that's that's what i'm saying there are companions in this mod i know there are companions they're easy to get to in a world where you're in a world where your collar is a pain to get yes and well it's well it's not just that it's a pain to get it's that you can lose it really easily by by stopping at any of the new towns uh, which sucks. <laughs> which means... Which means you will never be able to drive the car after that. Except in, like, doing the, the regular Fallout 2 quest. Driving the car, not really an option. I'm going to have one, maybe two. I'll go with two NPCs right now. So, we gotta do at least three points into intelligence. Uh, we're gonna get that power armor, of course. Wrong one. There we go. So, we're gonna max out... No, we can we just max out intelligence. Anyway, okay, so I got a super cheesy character right now. It really is super cheesy. A little minus on the skill points, a little plus on the other ones. Definitely need that 10 agility because we got to be able to escape the beginning and the intro area. Okay, what, what can I do to make them slightly more evil? I think I don't need the strength per se. The endurance is fine. The perception is fine. Yeah, this is probably, this will probably do just fine. It, I mean, I could, I could step through it if you wanted, but I don't think anybody cares. I... <laughs> Anyway, this thing pops up. There's some text in here that says if you click this button, I believe it is, it will bypass the tipple of trials. You can hit exit. Oh, I don't know what this button either does. Um, and this doesn't, these don't do anything. I don't know why. I did get text to pop up here the very first time I played it in 1.02. 1.03 doesn't seem to be working. No clue why. Would have to investigate the mod myself to find out. We're going to make a new quick save. So this will be our new start here. And then our new quick save. There we go. 
I can't put I can't kill this guy unfortunately but I can go into the temple of trials and start preparing to murder Cameron or Dumar I need to take some damage here what kind of mod is this this is a silly mod is what this is <laughs> and you're about to see what kind of a mod it is because I'm about to play it like that so uh, just to show you something real quick this is this is the classic way I like to start my Fallout 3 games now it doesn't really affect the story it doesn't affect the storyline at all it's just a silly evil thing to do that you can do that nobody does because nobody knows you can do it anyway uh, it is right now July 25th 2241 826 in the morning you start out at like 825 in the morning the first 24 hours of gameplay in Fallout 2 all crits are disabled so you cannot actually get a crit and there are two things that we need to do is in order to get a crit in order to get a knockout which is what we need on cam on cameron ratman or cameron the the, the character cameron slash dumar the, the two things you need to do are one pass 24 hours and two get up a level those are the only two things you need to do you don't you might not even need to get up a level if you get lot if you get lucky and you're playing it actually doesn't matter what difficulty your level you're playing on you can play on hard it doesn't make any difference to your combat skills those are the two things we need to do so there's two ways of accomplishing waiting 24 hours. One, you could turn your game speed up to max and then just wait for the time to pass because the time will slowly pass. It's just really, really slow at how it passes. <laughs> like 20 seconds to the minute? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. At times three right now. And I think it's one to one at times one because they don't have a second hand here. And the other way is to use heal on yourself. Use heal or doctor. First aid or doctor. And... Since your first aid or doctor skill are so low on game difficulty hard, uh, if you decided to change it to easy, it wouldn't be. Your first aid and doctor would be actually reasonably doable, but we don't want that. We want to force 24 hours to pass and first aid only passes at forces at half an hour to pass. Doctor forces one hour to pass. So we're going to do doctor skill on ourselves, and fail to do any, any healing that passes an hour of time. We're going to pass an hour of time using this method until we get 24 hours, until we get to 8.20 something or other tomorrow morning on the 26th of July. So the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is doctor skill. We use doctor skill on ourselves until 24 hours are done. And then we will change the game difficulty to easy so that we can actually get some healing. Oh my god, I actually got 10 points of healing right there. 50 XP. Wow. Five thirty-one, six thirty-one, seven thirty-one, and there is eight thirty-one right there. So now crits are enabled, and let's go ahead and change the game difficulty to easy one more time. And I wish she would stop making that noise. Anyway, and this time let's just do some first aid on ourselves so we get ourselves healed up again. What is our character? 30, we're fully healed. Okay, cool. Change the game difficulty back to hard if you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just cheesing the game. And we're going to get up some XP. And just grab some stuff while we're here. There we go. Alright, what are we up to? 500 XP, and not quite there yet. Gotta go ahead and use lockpick on this guy. Doesn't matter what your skill level is. You can get through there easily. Run around the outside edge. Dodge most of those. Not that those are important at all. Or even really hurt you. The scorpions definitely hurt you more. And I am poisoned. Okay, well, I am hurt pretty bad, and I do not have the XP I need yet, so let's go ahead and use... Um, First aid on ourselves, and don't want to take quite that much damage. So let's do that again, but on easy mode. And if you are doing really poorly in this game, and you want to do some real cheesing... There you go, so we've used first aid three times. Now we've taxed our ability with that skill, and we, now we have to wait a while. Well, if you want to be really cheesy about it, you can turn your game difficulty back to hard again. And 
take a look at your time, 12.05 in the afternoon, I believe. Um, you just go ahead and take this and use your doctor skill on yourself for, I believe it's 12 to 24 hours. I don't remember. See, it's an hour before noon, or half an hour before noon. It must be between 12 and 24, maybe like 16 hours. I'm not sure. Either way, it doesn't matter. Once you do that, change your game difficulty back to easy again, and go ahead and use your first aid skill on yourself. This, of course, doesn't really work quite as well if you have a higher doctor skill, which allows you to not get uh, all those different options, but still. Uh, anyway, there we go. I am back up. I also That also gave me 25 XP apiece for successful skill uses, whereas the doctor skill will heal me up for the rest of the way and give me 50 XP apiece. That puts me at 760 XP, which should easily, with the next couple of kills, put me up a level, which is what my goal is for this point. Grab the explosive. Bet you can't save it. Ow! Holy shit, that one kicked my ass. Anyway, we'll take this for the poison, because who cares. Got that point, uh, that level. Let's go ahead and put our points into unarmed. 106 points. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just do that. Who cares? Put all your points into unarmed. And change your equal to the hard. That's cool. So, take a look at our time. 22.43. Down one perception. One, two, three, four five six hours so six hours later you can just do that six times and you just gain your perception back and you won't need these heals for the next part of the combat anyway you're just gonna save scum it <laughs> at least i will because <laughs> who cares anyway uh and i don't even think i'm gonna worry about the hp uh, let's go ahead and give that a quick save if you stand right about here, I think, is the activation point. Yeah, so I think he activates on the next one up. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, now, if you just reload that, and you just talk to him from, let's say, a step or two back, you can actually force him to use all his action points in his first turn. So I've got some questions for you for sure. Sure, let's party. Now, if you take a character with speech tagged, you need a character with speech tagged specifically. If you take a character with speech tagged, you can actually get out of this. Low intelligence might not be able to actually get out of a fight. I don't recall that for sure. I need to double check that. But still, anyway, speech, you do need speech skill to get out of this peacefully without getting into a fight. Or you could steal the key from him. Doesn't matter. We're going to murder him today. Aw, lame. He hit me twice more than I thought he would. That feels like he... That feels weird. That's... Way more action points than uh, he should have. Huh. Wow. This mod just killed me. All right. Always. But one step farther back. Okay. So stand here for, because this guy has extra action points he doesn't normally have. I kind of check how many action points he actually does have. There we go. There's the knockout. Since we got to save some, save some at sometimes. Warrior is critically hit in the head for 15 hit points. The strong blow in the head knocks him out. And now we just go up here. We can loot the body if you want. Take the key, but who cares? We're just going to murder him. Just keep going into, into combat mode. And there he goes. Now he's dead. Uh, 100 XP for that, for crushing your enemies. See your enemies driven before you, hit the lamentation of their women. Crushing, crush your enemies, see them driven before you. Fuck, if I could just get that quote right. Anyway, there we go. That is the Temple of Trials. <laughs> In but the stupid, e most evil way of starting the Temple of Trials there is. Uh, <laughs> you get the blue pajamas, we're ready to go. The NPC is sentient artificial intelligence. Wild, no! Uh, but real quick. Your karma is now five. Now, I want to... I'm going to save this in a separate slot, and I just want to show you what the karma is supposed to look like. 
Let's load that last game. So you get a normal fight, combat fight. And all you have to do is knock 20 points off of him. Uh, which is basically punch him four or five times. Uh, there you go. We'll knock him to the ground. That's fine. So your karma to start with is zero here. If you come out, if you get the thing, you come out, your karma is supposed to be 15. So just by getting the vault suit, your karma is 15. Just want to make that clear. So if we reload the evil one I just did, my karma is five. So you lose 10 karma for murdering the guy. And if I bothered to look at the karma before I actually went out the, to grab the vault suit, you would have seen that. Sorry about that. I'll have to remember that next time I stream this. Do you get in trouble with the leader for being a bad, big bad murderer, man? No, okay, one more punch. He only has like 40 HP. But if you end up, it's okay, there you go. You saw the combat ended, and I just I spammed A to get it restarted again so that he wouldn't be able to run off. Well, if you do that, and then you start fighting him, and then you kill him, the game, the, the this is what happens normally. This is what happens normally. So he wasn't knocked unconscious. So this is how the villagers react normally. And as you can see, everybody hates you. You're not gonna last long. You better have a. You better have your own way to get the f out of dodge, cause, cause you ain't getting. You're not gonna last here. <laughs> Everybody's gonna chase your butt down. Everybody who sees you. That's. This is what's supposed to happen when you murder Ka Cameron or Dumar or whatever. It is. This is the normal. This is. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I could dodge my way out. We're seeing. No, there it goes. There it goes. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. Surely not. Anyway, let's load that game back up again. And then this is the evil playthrough where I murdered him. And I have the five karma. And nobody is out here attacking me. <laughs> it's more what you expected exactly that's what i'm saying that's the way to start an evil playthrough uh, that's a, that's a, the way to start a truly evil playthrough let me show you some more evil things you can do this is your young cousin nagor or nagor or however you're i'm gonna go with nug no I'm call him nog nog like from star trek call him nog you don't see his dog smoke anywhere cousin i'm glad to see you i need your help Sorry, but I don't have the time. Ha ha ha. Then I'll go to the wilds myself. You do that. You can actually do that and he'll run off. And uh, just real quick, you lose a couple more karma points, but you can lose more than that. Let me show you this. <laughs> you lose. I lost three karma points for that, but it gets better. It gets better. What do you, so what do you need help with? Smoke ran off into the hunting grounds and hasn't come back. And now, now Morlis won't let me go find him. She says it's too dangerous and he's just a dog. But I was gonna go anyway, but now you're here and you could do it and I wouldn't get in trouble. Uh, sure, but where are the hunting grounds? What'd you do? Get hit in the head with a rock? They're on the far side of Hakunin's tent, north of the village. Okay, I'll be back soon. Alright. Uh, I do need to get healed up though, real quick. Greetings, chosen. So why does the earth before me warm to the touch of your passing? I just want to make it clear that when I was playing 1.02, all I heard was static from these voices. They were like <laughs> It was horrible. The voices now work correctly in 1.03. I'm really happy about that. So, I'm hurt. Can you heal Chosen me? Once again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Revealed. I'm out of here. All right, cool. So, we'll take care of his plants in a minute. But still, we're doing Nagor's quest. We're going to take a quick save right here, and we're going to run over. We should be able to just bypass most of the geckos easily. Run right over. Pick up Smoke. Just walk up to Smoke. He'll follow you. And then you can just take Smoke all the way... And I think it's right around here. All the way to the entrance. Yeah, I think it's right around here. And then uh, once you get here, just uh, remember, our karma is five. Positive five right now. So we're going to take care of that shit. Just uh, deal with smoke however you see fit. <laughs> and uh, smoke is a peaceful dog, so he'll take the beating. But uh, there you go. <laughs> smoke is killed. Oh, you didn't lose any karma for that. Wow, that's lame. That's lame. Anyway. Oh, shut up. Done with that.
So have you found Smoke yet? I'm sorry, but he is dead. You're just saying that because you don't want to look. I, I don't care what Camp Morland says. I'm going to find him. You do that. Ah, and then he runs off. And then you go back. And then he's dead. Oh, he's dead farther than Smoke is. I should have put Smoke down here. Anyway, he ran past Smoke into the hunting grounds and then died. And you can take a spear. <laughs> anyway, now I have two karma. I, it is too bad that you don't get negative karma for murdering Smoke. But still, that... that <laughs> <laughs> so that's an option i believe you gain karma for repairing the well but let's check real quick um so here oh the well really needs fixing blah, 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 really basic quest right at the beginning of the game repair 10 percent. it doesn't matter what percent you have 100 experience points for that hey thanks for fixing the well did i get any karma i got no karma for that that's right that was part of the evil playthrough <laughs> you're a monster <laughs> That is, that is, it's an evil playthrough. That's the way you start it. <laughs> it's evil and twisted as you can. You try to murder as many people in your village as you can. <laughs> Real quick though, there is a way to actually get infinite negative karma here. There's two places that I know of where you get an infinite negative karma. Besides the slavers. The slavers are obvious. You can always get infinite negative karma with the slavers. But having being a slaver is really kind of detrimental to the rest of the gameplay. So people don't like to opt for that one. And it's also super obvious, so it's not like the most interesting way to get negative karma. But still, if you go up to any of your tribe members and you go to steal skill on them, there we go. You have a random chance of losing a couple points, three in this case. You have a random chance of losing three points of karma every time you do this. Uh, and it has to do with failing a steal check, but not really. It's a really weird check. I, I'm not really clear what it is because nobody has written anything about what it specifically is, what the check is specifically. It depends on your steel skill, even even at 10%, am I on easy? I'm on hard. Even at the lowest I can be without dropping my intelligence down or something, it is kind of difficult to get that to happen. Although, actually, I think you might have to do it on the random people walking around. There might be some... I have to look at the script. I'd have to look at the script. There, I don't know what it is specifically, but you can lose karma that way. Anyway, it's, that's a really slow one. There's other faster ways to do it. Okay. Taking her stuff. Taking her stuff. Talking to the elder. Congratulations, Chosen One. You have survived the Temple of Trials. Are you ready for your quest? What are you doing? Trying to get me killed in the temple? You survived. The Chosen One cannot be weak or we are all doomed. Are you prepared for your quest? I'm not going to get myself killed. Being a coward will kill us all, including you. You passed the temple trials. We have faith in you. We need you. Not so fast, old woman. I need time to think about this. What's in it for me? <laughs> Chosen One. Anyway. I'm going now. You don't even have to actually accept the quest. You can just wander off. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, wait, there was a couple other places. So this guy should give you some training. Uh, pretty well. Sure. Help me. Uh, you got to teach me in there. You go. Like, no, he gives you unarmed training. If you have low unarmed skill, I have high unarmed skill. This guy gives you training with uh, melee. Uh, my melee went from something to 50. And was there anybody else? Morla. Aunt Morla. You can take the flint off of her. What do you think you're doing, child? This is no way for the Chosen One to act. Get out of my sight. And if you take it off her and get caught a couple more times, you can, it doesn't really matter. If this flint is so important that you're willing to disgrace the name of the Chosen One, then here, take the flint and get out of my sight. Yes, Aunt Morla. There you go. So you got the flint either way. It doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway. And then you can just take her money. Uh, and I believe that's everything there actually is to do here. There's a couple items sitting around, but there's nothing in any of them. Grab a shovel for when you want to dig up graves. And head out. Uh, this guy will teach you to sharpen a spear. Not that there are any other flints anywhere else. Was wondering about your spirit, it just looks a little different. Here you go. Take, just click through this one and there you go. 
He'll give you a sharpened spear. Uh, oh, I see. You have to come back because he told you to go get some flint. And you're like, okay, yes, here's some flint. It's a good piece. Give me your spear. Here you go. Places like so, blah, blah, blah. There you go. There's that sharpened spear. If you're a melee character and you want to start out with a sharpened spear, there you go. I forgot to save it. I... Whatever. Just died. <laughs> Damn it. I forgot to save it. Okay, let me reload that. All right, now. On to the exit area here. So the, the conversation with the Russian starts on that exact next hex. Speaks an incomprehensible language. What? Hey, do you speak English, Savage? English? Yells a lot more to you of something incomprehensible. Oi, hey, oh, sp speak English little. Well, fuck off then, leave. Man, you, oh, you drink with my, in other eye. Incomprehensible. Take offense strong. Are you insane? No, I've got an ulcer, and I, um, I gave up. Yeah, yesterday morning. Bye, Alki. Leave. And then, of course, you just get killed here. Pretty classic humor for this mod. That's really a lot of what the jokes are in this mod. Now, the thing is, you can actually get through this mod easily as a male character. Uh, I have this saved here, so let me just go ahead and create a new character. Uh, take Narg, whatever. Uh, and then this thing pops up and you have... Let's go ahead and take the option to just skip it. Oh, look at that. You can actually see what it says. It's random. I don't know why it starts sometimes and doesn't start sometimes. Welcome to the world of Fallout. Let's begin. Do you really want to pass the Temple of Trials? It is dark, damp, there are scorpions and ants, and it is mostly a test of the player's nerves and the abilities of the Chosen One. What have you decided? Pass the trial? Skip the trial. Okay, so this one just goes back. Skip the trial. Does that. It just spawns you over here. And if you go over here as a male character, he goes through this and say, well, what? Hey, do you speak English, Savage? Uh, he says English. Uh, I speak, speak English little. Yeah, well, fuck off then. And then here, there is the option, drink, sure, darling, let's drink, or are you insane? Oh, I've got an ulcer. So the are you insane one is the one we took last time. That was the only option we got. For the male character here, you can say, drink, sure, darling, let's drink. Sure, darling. And during a two-week long carousal, you've mastered the Russian language. Congratulations, aren't you something, something that I can't actually scroll through or read. So whatever to this little note thing. It now obviously didn't work quite that well. Ah, thanks, fella. You pleased the wanderer. I wanted to shoot you when I met you. Look with unfavorable eyes at the acquainted stranger. Hey, stop making faces. Just a dog, okay? Now listen, I can't help you with your problem, but I can at least give you some advice. Ignore the headache and try to look attentive. If you're looking for a secret and a very expensive device, you better head straight to Sidorovich at Cordon. He's a born fence, and he's into exactly such thingies. Continue listening. You really need that? What is that stuff? Gek. Yeah, right. Well, you can ask at Newbark. That hole is on a crossroad, so that's kind of a rumor center. Or you can try the bandit's junkyard. Their line of work obliges them to know about goings on. And what about you? I thought you would help me with my search. They said, no offense, you're a cool savage, funny and all that. But you have your quest, and I have mine. Farewell, then. Maybe we'll meet again. Watch the stranger with your eyes as he departs southwards. And then you can just loot the crate and you get some alcohol, some booze. It's garbage. It's garbage. It's a garbage start. So instead, we're going to reload that quick save. <laughs> Play as a female character and let's see if I can get out of here the same way I got out of here last time. Yes, I can. Look at that. There's a spot right here where he does not see you and he cannot get to you. Now let's go ahead and save again. If I run in here a little too far, he'll still see me because apparently it's visual, maybe not spatial trigger, which is really cool. And as you can see right here, there is no option to actually drink with him. There's no option to say, yes, darling, let's go. You can read, write, and speak Russian. Yep. Yeah. Well, you don't need to if you're a woman. You just need to sneak up on the guy and get down the guy behind his back. Uh, it's a little hard to do, though. It's a little hard to do. I'm going to see what happens if I just leave the map and come back. I do believe that he just disappears. No, he doesn't. Okay, cool. You just spawn in a different place. Okay, cool. You can leave the map and come back if you want, but I find it a little fun, a little more fun. Also, if you take your hand off the left shift key, the automatic run doesn't take over whenever you're in stink mode, uh, which is kind of cool. So that's a new thing with the, with the newer S-Fall mods. Automatic run is disabled when you're in stink mode. 
very nice little thing to have. Anyway, you can sneak right up behind him in sneak mode. Uh, you can go ahead and do this conversation if you're not careful, but instead, that's not the way to do it because within one hex, they will always see you, and even in sneak mode, which is really annoying. You can go, let me see if I can go up one more hex here. There we go. I can stand here. And then we quick save it one more time, and now we go into attack mode, and it is what, two steps? Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can go one more step up. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm two hexes away from him. I just need one more. One more hex will make me visible. So I go into attack mode here. We go right up here. We take our strong punch, and we do the same shit we just did earlier. Uh, sometimes we gotta... Fuck. <laughs> sometimes we gotta reload. It's just the way it is when you're level two trying to do this but there we go man he is not one of the locals was critically hit in the head for 10 hit points the damaging attack knocks him unconscious well what do you do with the unconscious people in this mod oops is he really unconscious he's kind of unconscious he can't really tell he gets giving up you go over and you take his flipping gun that's what you do in this mod and then he speaks an incomprehensible language hey well, who do you speak english savage well fuck off then leave and now he can't attack you because he's such a can't do shit. And you can just take his shit and you just wander around. It don't matter anymore. <laughs> he will, even though he has... Oh, no, no. Then the rest of the conversation comes through, actually. <laughs> even better. Even better. The rest of the conversation actually works. <laughs> This is even better. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. This is better than it was last time, actually. I, I didn't actually get him to go through the rest of this stuff. I believe I had to kill him. Or I don't remember if I did kill him or not. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Thanks, Sveta. You pleased the wanderer. And I wanted to shoot you when I met you. you I pleased him, huh? Hmm. Smiling. You wish you wouldn't hit a side of a barn back then. Hey, I'm the sniper when I'm all boozed up. Imagine. Sniper. Sniper. He's got that R's. Sniper. <laughs> I don't know how to remember all them Rs when I'm boozed up. Imagine you've got two barrels of four, a few, two barrels of four, and a valley full of wild boars. Laughs ripplingly. Oh, so listen. I can't help you with your problem, but I can at least give you some advice. Ignore your headache and try to look attentive. My Russian accent is terrible. But anyway, if you're looking for a secret and a very expensive advice, you better head straight to Sidorovich at Gordon. He's a born fence, and he's into exactly such sankies. Continue listening. If you really need that, what is that stuff, Gek? Yeah, right. Well, you can ask at Nubar. That hole is in on a crossroads, so it's kind of a rumor center, or you can try the bandit's junkyard. Their line of work obliges them to know about goings on. And what about you? I thought you would help me with our search. This is Dorf Finch, you're a cool savage. It's nice spiky green hair, funny and all that, but you have your quests, and I have mine. Farewell, then. Maybe we'll meet again. Watch the stranger with your eyes as he departs southwards. And he disappears. All right. Don't need to be in sneak mode anymore. That is the beginning of this mod. If you choose to be evil, uh, you can skip all the evil stuff if you don't want to be evil. If you actually attack any of the town members in any other way, you will be evil and the game will end at midnight. We made it out of here. All right. So we got Corden. We got Klamath. There's some cool stuff in the caves that you can get to, in Smiley's Caves, whatever they're called. The Golden Gecko Caves. There's some cool stuff in there, but they're tough to get to. Okay, let's go do the Cordon stuff first. Cannibals attacking some young stalkers. Well, this one's not going to end well for the cannibals. It's in turn. Let's just see how it goes. Yeah, look at that shit. Oh my god, maybe I'll actually get some points if they blow each other up. Nah, oh well. Well, at least I know. Oh, I, I get there's something here. Oh, that was it. It's just a dead cannibal. It doesn't matter. Anyway, also, the uh, highlight mod is part of the Espal mod right here. As you can see, it highlights characters that you have not searched. And there is a rock right there. And characters that have items on them still that you have searched are highlight blue. Yeah, stuff like that that, are, that you have not searched are, are highlighted yellow. And items that you have searched but are empty are gray or whitish gray here as you can see so I want to say that the steel skill is modified yeah so I do need to have points in my steel skill if I want to be able to steal from things group of experienced stalkers looking for adventures no I'm good let's go to Corden let's let's pick up a partner here's my partner it's the doom guy by the way 
Hey, uh, hey, uh, Naya. <laughs> hey, uh, and who are you and what are you doing here? Who am I? Shit, you know, I don't remember. I remember that flash, and after that, I even forgot my name. Flash, Alki, you're blitz like shit. Go and get some sleep. Maybe you'll recover. Hey, uh, you're a forgetful one, I see. What are you doing here? Nothing, really. Hey, you seem to be a sturdy chap. Just look at your scarred mug. And I need a partner. To join a gang? I don't like bandits. They beat me. Sometimes they kick my face in. No, not like, not that. I'm saving the world. Okay, also, money girls and beer on holidays. Are you in? Oh, I'm down for beer on holidays. It's a deal, but I've got this problem. I'm not just sitting here like an adult for no reason. See my mighty boots? My mighty boots. The problem is they're missing laces. Some bastard stole them while I was sleeping. Please, bring me new shoelaces. What? To look for laces? Well, um, fine. See what I can do. Now, screw that. Where would I get them? I'm better off enlisting that flea-infested pooch. It doesn't really matter which one you take. The dialogue is the same either way until you get the laces. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's not. You take the, the quest, then he asks you about the laces. I wonder if you found any, any laces in the depths of the zone's bowels. They just really don't want to be found. Maybe you'll join me anyway. No way. You're suggesting me I run barefoot. I'll go get the laces in a second. There are a lot of simple quests that you can get from this guy. This is the main quest. Give ver-ish type guy. There are some items in here that you can sell if you want, but you would be better off in this case actually just leaving a lot of items in here. A lot of random items. Whatever items you find, just leave them in here. Items that you don't think you're going to use that you, you know, just, just leave them in here. This way you have a stash of stuff to use for this guy's scavenger quest. Oh, and there's one other thing right here. Take those and throw them in here. Also, another odd thing that's kind of annoying, but it doesn't really matter because of the highlight mod. Everything closes itself again with this mod. Uh, anyway. Speaks English. Hello, my friend. What kind of business you got for me? Fuck off, motherfucker. <laughs> Rest in peace. It didn't last long. Rest in peace. Anyway, does this guy say anything? Nah, he just doesn't say anything to you. Okay, so here we go. Yours English is very bad. No, it's true. It's really, really bad. You speak Russian? The man's face shows doubt and distrust. He switches to Russian. Are you new here? No, I've never seen you here before. So tell me then, who are you and how do you know the language that well? Yes, yes, I'm new here. I've learned the language here from local guys. Totally. Well, it's my first time here from the north, actually. I learned Russian while drinking vodka with some Russian with a huge gun. From the north, stalker with a gun, vodka. Aha, so tell me, what did that man look like? What was he wearing and his face? Well, isn't that armor, helmet? Uh, actually, I believe if you answer these incorrectly, you won't get the quests. He was some bum. Black jacket without one sleeve, jeans, black too, worn out. Hair like jeans, a swollen mug, but the gun was cool. Big shiny with some supports. I got those guns. No, that is impossible. You are lying. You try to understand. I absolutely detest liars, though maybe you are just touched in the head. Have you had a concussion recently? Anyway, I bet you will be useful. So what? Tell me your name at least, because you are not Russian. <laughs> really laughs. Lady Punchface is my name. What is yours? Makes face. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna reload that. Russian with a huge gun. Four years old, I guess. You have lots of guys here. Two meters tall. Yeah, this guy right here. Yes, 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 that's right. There's, there was such a f fucking fundamentalist here, but he disappeared. Well, thanks, friend. I knew you could be useful. Can I continue? Well, tell me your name. So we go back to this again. I'm, I'm pretty sure that lying to him makes the quest, breaks the quest, but I don't know for sure, because I don't know for sure how to test that. All right. So my name is Lady Punchface, sir. And what is yours? Makes face, sir. I'm neither a president nor a leader, nor a chief, nor a commander. Take it easy and we will become friends sooner. My name is Sidorovich. Can you pronounce that for her? No. Wow, is that it awesome? Okay. Smile at the crude joke. Why are you looking at me like that? Ah, what can I tell you? I sell junk. Though for Russian speaking people, I've got something else besides junk. What did you want from me? Sure, show me what you got. Show me what you got. Show me the money. So he's got a bunch of ammo and stuff. Because you have a new version of S-Fall in here, the scroll wheel works. 
unlike the s wall version that comes with your vanilla game in steam gog that one scroll wheel does not work on the right hand side only works on the left uh, but this one works on the right so anyway i'm not gonna buy anything right now that stalker he told me you could help me get a rare thingy Oh, yes, yes. Rarities are my speciality. But you must understand that each thing has its price, and for rarities, that price is multiplied by a... the rarity factor of the rarity smiles. It looks like the multiplication factor will be high. I need a get. Can you get it? I can get anything, but to be honest, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, but then... but... sigh. Oh, well, forget it then. Or get. Guard to be in creation again. It's... well, just forget it. Bye. <laughs> you have to go through the whole thing again. Uh, get Guard of Eden Creation Kit. It's a suitcase. With its help, one can build a wonder town in seven days. A wonder town in seven days. Please. Mm, wait. A suitcase, you say? Ah, the Gek. Sometimes I think I'm getting C now. Yes, I know where it can be. Well, I need information about it. Somehow I feel like you're making this up and you have really never heard of such a thing. I think I should leave. Ah. Anyway, this one and then need information about it. And then a whole bunch of dialogue. I need at least one. Maybe two would be nice. Really? Strong words! I really like that. So important, and I will not hide that. Powerful information is only available for one of ours. You understand me? One of ours means stalkers. Does any one of the guys know you? Did you do anything useful for us? No. And are you ready to help? To help? You? Why the hell would I do that? Are you my family? Come on, tell me where the suitcase is. What? Have you lost your nerve, wimp? We need a lesson, I think. Although, I like your determination. You can become one of us for... $20,000 a deal or apologize and we will collaborate. What do you say? We can just go get the money. Well, aren't you a daft one? Okay, let's talk as grown-ups now, Wuss. You're gonna tell me everything before your head is on its way to your ass. <laughs> oh, of course. Rare thing. There we go. Yes. Need information about it. I need an information about it. Okay. So, to help you, why the hell should I do that? Are you on my family? Come on, tell me where the suitcase is. Helping you is not something I'll do. I'll be back with the money. Let's give this... A s We're going to save this here and call it... Need the money. Because I want to... I don't know for sure that you actually need 20,000. Damn. Need the money? Maybe. I don't think I actually managed to get 20,000 last time. And... Yeah, take a look at this. 40,000 in this one, you talk to him, so the option to actually give him the money is not available. You can just complete quests with him, and that was it. That's a thing to keep in mind when doing this, it looks like. Alright. So, I don't know for sure if I should just go for the $20,000 first, or if I should take, uh, take him up on the scavenger hunt. Because the scavenger hunt is cool, in a way, in a way, it's actually kind of cool. All these items that he's having you get, except for maybe a couple, are in the regular playthrough. So you can actually just Google search for the items and the Fallout 2 wiki will, will have them available, which is kind of cool. Why are you looking at me like that? What can I tell you? I sell junk. Though for Russian-speaking people, I've got something else besides junk. What do you want from me? All right, so... Uh, talk to la blah, 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 blah. Nope, that was the wrong one. Okay. But I'm weak and stupid and butterfingered. I'll try to do what I can, but if I screw up, it's not my fault. What should I do? Got 408 XP for that. What to do, eh? Well, for starters, you should just, you should decide who you, whom you will be helping. I'll elaborate. I have some problems here. A freaking part of them, actually. And there's that wolf fella. My right arm, so to say. And he also could use some help. Okay, now. Decide whom you will be helping. This is a key that's not really clear from this part of the mod. The guy that the exit grid from the tribe, from Arroyo, tells you to go visit Sidorovich, but Sidorovich doesn't tell you that there's two other people who can actually start the main quest for you in this mod. Sidorovich is only one of them, and you can ignore him and actually go to the other two people. I will try and do that at some point, possibly with my next playthrough, especially if this is a relatively short game. It actually doesn't seem too long once you know what you're doing. Wolf, that guy nearby with the two sturdy chaps? I'll help him gladly, since I'm already here. Let's continue to collaborate. Excellent. Listen, then. It is a doctor right to the north from here. He is a capable surgeon, if you don't mind that he's a veterinarian. That doesn't bother him when patching up our guys after skirmishes with the bandits, so he needs something. Help him, okay? Okay. Delivery? That's easy. I hate these tasks. Fine. Take, steal, and bring back... Oh, well, what can I do? 
Anyway, I got 480 XP. There is a quest to go help the doctor. This is Wolf right here. Uh, don't quote me on this. I believe that Wolf Latin of S. Is this the guy? No. Uh, if you take Wolf's quest, I think it might actually break other quests. So I'm just going to avoid him for a second and try and find the doctor first. Unless Wolf is the guy. Ahoy, new faces, come in. Brighten up the veterans' tedium, will ya? And who are you? Hi, who am I? Hey, I'm Mikhail Stepanich. But everyone just calls me Gutsy. I like it. And do you, a nameless pal? I, my, my name is Lady Punchface. And yes, I like it too. What? <laughs> awesome, just awesome. So, Lady Punchface, how are you doing? Uh, well, I, oh, lost my doggy. Yeah, now I'm looking for him. Yeah, that's the ticket. Did you see him by any chance? Oh, well, I'll go and look in some other place. Yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> anyway, that's it, really? There's no actual... Damn, I thought there might be a quest with him or something. Oh, well, whatever. Is there a doctor elsewhere? Okay, I'm just going to go look for the uh, doctor real quick. Loot the place and look for the doctor. Heck yeah, stuff. And more stuff. None of these people are the doctor. Hmm. Neither are these guys. Okay, well, um, I guess there's a... Well, we'll just go to the next map and see if the doctor's over here. Well, at least I didn't die. Yay. Oh, I'm almost dead though. <laughs> Woo! Okay, made, it, made it out of that one. There's a couple more rats over here though. Are you the doctor? What's up? You're not, apparently. Take all your junk? Oh, come on. Guess I'll get some healing. Uh, I need to go find those shoelaces anyway, so I should go do that. Oh, oh, that rat just died on its own. Look at that. Everything but the shovel. Let's go grab the shovel. Oh. Oh, I'm glad I saved it where I did. <laughs> glad I saved it there. I'm gonna run into that shit. But you just keep walking. All right. All right. Let's not go that way. Let's go the other way. And now we're gonna become a grave robber. Our karma is at negative four as it is. Let's do something about that. It's a little high. Make it down low. And now, we're a grave digger with negative nine karma. And now, we're another grave digger with negative 14. And the last one, negative 19. And you can take the body. The body is actually really heavy, but the body actually has is another item for the for the uh, scavenger hunt. Let's go dump some stuff. <laughs> Save again. Grab the body. I cannot really. Fine. Oh, are you kidding me? Seriously? How much does it freaking weigh? What? I could carry a hundred pounds. I carried a hundred ten pounds. And I can't carry this freaking body. And I don't have any drugs either. The sad thing is I just can't pick it up, which is what really sucks. I still didn't do anything. Hey, doggo. Nope, nothing? Alright. Ah, come on. Okay. 
You dogs aren't really doing much. Grr, woof, woof, grr, staring into dog's eyes. Grr, arr, grr, woof, 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 woof. You're hungry, aren't you, boy? I bet I'd like some delicious dry meat, wouldn't you? Let me see if I have some. Grr, woof, woof, sorry, no doggy treats for you today. I don't have any. If you say good doggy, good boy. Well, if you could, I don't know, I don't know, he... Oh, all right, nothing, <laughs> you talk, you... Get into too many conversations with him, he'll come up and murder you. Oh no, I see. I used the wrong dialogue. Okay. Good boy, good boy. Alright, well, let's go get some treats for him so he'll follow me around without murdering me. I left him back here like a dork. Yeah, there we go. Ash should be. Alright, let's go. No! Damn it. I'll have to reload that, I swear. Don't murder me! Okay. Wait, no, come on, really? Okay, uh, here you go. You're hungry. Here you go. Grr, woof, woof. No, what? Uh, those aren't doggy treats? These aren't doggy treats? Are you kidding me? What trash. What trash. Alright, whatever. Good boy, indeed. There is a dead dog here. That one just about- that one fucking murdered me. Shit, I had no option but to get murdered by that one. Alright. What's your problem? Nope, not this guy either. I guess we can kill a few more rats. Just barely. container oh I see a bunch of ammo right there what's that titanium bars where'd that come from hmm okay I know there's something right here I don't believe I can actually yeah I didn't think I could I didn't think I could. I think I can go around the side, though. Yeah, there we go. Let me get to it. There we go. So this is a Brotherhood of Steel thingamajig. Holodisc was labeled the... was labeled the confidential. <laughs> the Holodisc looks very tattered. It's a miracle it survived at all. It weighs one pound. Use it. Download the data from a disk. And we go to status, error, Error. Attention to all units, considering the increase of danger level from the so-called zone, all unit, all unit, must follow these orders. When staying near the abnormal sector, make notes about all observations into the personal logbook. Pay special attention to the southeastern square. Do not reveal your presence from intelligence reports. The locals have anti-air weapons, which can damage vertebrates approximately to 65 to 93 percent. Uh, plurals. <laughs> Translation not the best. When directly observing the object one, constantly check vertebrates equipment displays. Strong magnetic field coupled with uninvestigated emission can result in a failure of altitude control system of the machine and lead to an emergency situation. During an emergency situation, such as accident, forcing an emergency landing, forced or accidental catapulting, okay, contacts of first or second types. <laughs> it's, it's it's first or second kinds, not types, but okay. The personnel must destroy all noise and immediately noise headquarters. Otherwise, noise, noise at the platform, noise, noise to the president. And that's all there is done. Just a single page. It's supposed to be staticky noise, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, so there's a thing right here. Just watch out for it. Don't run into it. You'll get hit by it the first time you're here every time. All right, was there anybody else who would talk to me? Not this guy. Or these guys. Okay. This guy. This guy. This guy. Nobody else would, would they? Oh, but there's a couple of things to loot here. Stuffs. You can get some stuffs. Hey, doggo. Oh, no, this one's going to attack me. Oh, no. Like some meat? I don't have any treats. It won't let actually let me actually feed you stuff, which is sad. 
Because I feel like I should go to Klamath and get some beef jerky. And then start feeding the doggos here and see what happens. I, maybe they'll take beef jerky. I hope. Wow. The darkness. That's why you save it often in this mod. Because shit like that does happen. Right there. That is an anomaly. Springboard, it says. Just straight up kills you. Died. But it is cool that you can actually see it now. Well, I wonder if I leave the map and come back. Can you still see it? Yeah, you can. Nice. All right. Hopefully, since my perception is a little higher in this mo in this playthrough, it's seven instead of I think it was six before. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to see those a little more often. Dumping some stuff. All right. Let's go to the next map. Um, actually, I don't think there's anything on this thing. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so is this the doctor? Can I just talk to him? Hey, you, yes, you. Where do you think you're going? This is private property. Got it. Got it. Hit the road, whippersnapper. Whom did you call whippersnapper, punk? Nobody's kicked the shit out of you for quite some time, huh? Come here, darling. I'll teach your ass some manners. Some good manners. Oh, lamb. That didn't last long. Listen, bro, your higher up sent me here to inspect this setup. So let's resolve the situation in such a way you apologize and I don't reproach you for your insolence. Are you bullshitting me, fucker? What fucking infections? You will take a dirt nap instead. Damn. <laughs> You're out of luck today, puny loser. Puny mortal. God. No, I really need that. Can we reach an agreement? Wink towards the impudent jerk. Mm, my deal is always acceptable. 1575 bucks and you can enter. 1575 and if you haven't got the coin, hit the road. Carefully slide your head under your jacket. Uh, nothing changed there. Okay. Oh, the city did murder me. All right. <laughs> A mullet. Okay. A anyway. Make a deal. Uh, you can try and do the thing, and he'll still murder you instead. So you can't actually get in here without money. Which is easy to get to in this mod, anyway. Holy shit, that one did 187 hit points of damage. Damn, that's nice. However, if you just say, fine, fine, I'm gone, and then you just kind of run over here to the side. Ooh, and don't, get, don't run into that thing. Damn. Then you run up here. Oh, cool. I didn't know we do that. Go into sneak mode. Actually, um, how close can we get? Any more? Okay, so that's as close as we can get. And then you just go into the attack mode and just run around the corner. You don't have to be in sneak either, but whatever. There you go. All done. Woohoo! Alright, so we got inside. Don't have any doggy treats. Need to go get some. Go and loot this place real quick. There's nothing here, really. Uh, there's a couple things, though. Alarm clock. Nobody talks here. Uh, Want to chat? No. A couple of loot things right here, it looks like. There we go. One is locked, of course. And my lockpick skill at 27% probably will not get it. Oh, it did get it uh, for 149 XP. Nice. Hold on. My difficulty is hard. Okay, cool. Let to make sure. Give that a save. Hop down here. Ah, oh, ask Sidorovich about me. Ask Sidorovich about me. You took me. You took the wrong guy. Are you a new prisoner? Shouldn't be here. Did you come to help me? All right, I don't know. I will ask the Dorovich about you once I get back to him. Okay, there is an anomaly right around here somewhere. Let me give it a save real quick. Okay, so the wasteland has claimed. That is what I was looking for. It's right in here. So let's go right up here. Nice. You can even see it now. <laughs> I didn't still run into it. Jeez. Okay, let's not. Oh my god! It's not hard to go around. Jeez. Oh, I'm just trying to loot the guy. 
Because this guy has the uh, shoelaces I need. Dang, really? Uh, how did I get it before? There we go. Try to be in a, in a specific position. Okay, grab all the stuff you can. You obviously, this is obviously something that's useful, but it's not easy to get because it's like 70 pounds, something stupid. Not easy, not easy to get for me anyway. We can come back for it though. That's not good though. You gotta watch out for that shit. <laughs> Cause you're, Cause you're not actually supposed to be able to, to go back up here like that. <laughs> so, so when you come out of here, there are a couple of options. You can, of course, just go back the way you came, but you can also go into attack mode. Oh, never mind. That didn't work. I thought it would stay. I thought it would stay in attack mode, but it didn't. I guess you could go in attack mode and spam A. Yeah, as long as you spam A, you'll be okay. Nope, nope, you gotta keep spamming A, no! Uh, anyway, let's just go- uh, Seriously, let's just go back the other way. And you can just run out the front door, and they'll kick you out, and then just- you're done. That's all. That's all you gotta do. It doesn't really matter after that. Ah, uh, just don't die! I'm not freaking- Okay, let's go see if I can find this thing. I want it to appear so that I can walk around it. Really? There it is, there it is. Okay, cool. Oh man, okay, so whatever. There might be a, shoot. There might be a couple in a row or maybe it just encourages you. Looks like the nature has gone insane. Maybe it just encourages you to walk over it every time. You have like it has a vacuum to it or something. Don't stop running in the fucking god dang, dude! I just want to go to that exit grid, I swear. All right, all right. So we found this guy's shoelaces. Hey, Wanderer, have you found me any laces in the depths of the zone's bowels? Uh, yes, I almost fucking died because of these laces. Well, I died a bunch of times, but all right. Here, you're now in debt for your lifetime, slave. You got 1,000 you earns. So I've got 1,000 you earns now. And awesome, just fucking awesome. So where are we heading? I'm ready. I'm ready. And he's now on my level. But I got 1,000 you earns and I now can take awareness for my first perk because that is always the one I want to take for my levels. I got 20 skill points for my 10 int. So we're going to put those skill points into small guns probably. No, because we can still get small guns magazines. We'll put them in No, we can get outdoorsman magazines, but we definitely need more outdoorsman skill. Now nah, let's get the magazines first. Nah, we'll save it. We'll save it. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, first, though, we're going to go dump some stuff. Okay. So this guy should be able to handle... Let's trade. Let's try trading with him. See if it works now in version 1.3. Should be able to handle this big gun. What does it take? Enhanced infantry version of the Kalashnikovs machine gun in caliber 76254. So that's this guy. Stealing still the fastest way to plant things um, when he's underweight anyway. Best armor. There we go. That's it. Now he's got a leather jacket, and you can see his model changed a little bit to match. Let's go back to that spot. And get those... I'd get that armor from down underneath. Once again... Sneak right up to here and attack. Just attack walk right over to here. All done. Downstairs. Run all the way to the end. Hopefully he doesn't die. Take that and wear it. And then go back. Again, hopefully he doesn't flip and die. 
there it goes. There is a little warning in the top left corner of the screen you saw there. Popped up, said, hey, nameless one, who is this NPC you got carrying with you? Um, get kicked out again. This new NPC, that is the guy who is at less than half hit points. There is no real way to heal him, except to just, like, you know, the normal ways. Stim packs and stuff like that. No! Shit, where did I save it last? Okay, so I got the NPC's shoelaces. Let's go, let's go cheese it up. Let's go cheese it up. Let's go get some power armor. Let's get some good stuff. Let's come back. Let's save it here. So I, I ran into some blood suckers, and I sure as F do not want to fight these guys. So I'm going to try and just sneak my way out. All right, can we get out? Yeah. All right, cool. We made it. Hey, some more leather armor. How interesting. Interesting this stuff they have in here. Hey, some and uh, this uh, scout handbook. This is the scout handbook. They redesigned the cover for the scout handbook. Kind of cool. It's a stalker cover, I would guess. It's got the word stalker at the top, I think. I don't know what the bottom words are, but it's just a regular scout handbook. What kind of methods and ideals of scouting? Very pra practical information regarding outdoor life, and it will increase your outdoorsman skill. However, I'm going to save that for a minute and come back to it when I have a few more. What the fuck happened here? Why is it all weird? Oh, I'll just go with it. No, I hate those things. God damn it. So a bunch of zone stuff happens in here, but once you get past this border, it's all... Jesus. You have died. It's all hardcore stuff. I can't even get out past the border, though, it feels like. A, ba a battle of experienced soldiers with inexperienced monolith followers. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be good. Let's get out of the way. Uh, let's get out of the way of this fight. Let's see who let's see who, who we can mop up. Oh, damn. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> is that... Is there more? There's more? Okay, there's more people. Let's see who dies next. Holy shit, that guy hit <laughs> Shotgun rocket launcher, it looks like. Nice. Nice, yeah. You, you know you know who's you know who's going to win this one. It's going to be the... not going to be the monolith guys at this point. This is... It's going to be the sergeants here. <laughs> Holy crap. And then I can just go clean up. Hopefully. Hopefully these guys are on the same side as I'm on the same team as I am. If they're not, I'm going to run over to the edge. Uh, just hang out here for a second. Okay, let's go back. Are you guys on the same team? Yes. All right, cool. They won't murder me. Woo, so let's go loot the bodies. Nice. Fucking monolith. What? They, they made some cool games back in the day. What just happened? You feel and your leg muscles tense as if an electric charge ran through them? I don't get it. What happened? Oh, there's a thing here. I got an artifact mica. The substance is very revolting to touch. It weighs four pounds. What happened? All right, hold on. I got to reload that. R RGD5 grenade. That's it right there. You feel weird and your head is reeling. You have received a large dose of radiation. Oh, it's a different artifact. So it's random whenever you pick, pick it up. Artifact turnout. Huh. What does this do? Check your perks. Snake eater. Oh, cool. Yum tastes like chicken for each level of this perk. You gain 25% to your poison resistance. How interesting. I'm gonna reload that, see what happens. So if I pick it up again, what do I get this time? Receive the larger radiation. Sneak eater again. Is it always sneak eater now? Oh, is there another artifact over here? There is! Bonus move! Oh, these are awesome! Do you have to have them equipped or like on your body all the time? Okay, let me try. Let me take one off. Drop it. You feel awful, but and you lost bonus move. Okay, cool. So you do have to have them on your body. How much do they weigh? Four pounds, four pounds. So they're four pounds a piece. How interesting. I kind of like this. It's kind of cool. Four pound draw. So now there's a reason to take those bonus carries. Okay. 
somebody's getting hurt over here on a, on a on a thing and i can't wait till they die there they are they're gonna die here in a second i'll go loot them in a second <laughs> there he goes <laughs> maybe the next guy will too oh uh, all right all right you found one that gives mule oh nice i'll have to i'll have to find one that gives mule for me too what is this 14 millimeter assault rifle i didn't pick this up last time probably of a sig sour origin so at least i don't remember picking it up hmm 18 to 24 damage 18 to 26 damage i don't know which one i'm taking the 550 sg 550 sig sg 550 sggw 90 very accurate and very reliable weapon plastic clips can be attached in groups for fast reloads Okay, so we're gonna do the old, the old speed running trick where we just every time we see a little lightning thing that says that we're about to get into combat, we're just gonna reload. So we're gonna go a square or two at a time, because you know it's gonna be high level garbage. I'm not yet ready to handle. Not sparing any squares. All the squares are stuck on me. F that, come on, seriously. No! We're close, though. Should be just about out of the water now. Yeah, we should be there. You get a random encounter, and you get a random encounter, and everyone gets a... Everyone gets a random encounter. Everyone! You get a random encounter. And here's the San Fran location. Flippin' finally. Okay. So, to cheese your way around the San Fran location. So, if you if you just go up to this guy and you click steal. Oh, I guess he does keep the gold on him initially. Anyway, whatever. Go up to this guy. Click steal. Save it. Save it before you steal from him. Go up behind him. Grab all the monies. You got, you know, you have 3,000 extra monies. Yay. Woohoo! 3,700. Same thing applies to the other guy. Let's look for some equipment. Let's see what we got here. 28. Offer, talk, buy, and then you go straight up behind him, hit save, grab the monies again, and there you go. Save it again, look for some equipment, what else you got here? We can't afford the power armor yet, but it's not difficult to get, so let's go cheese that. Uh, but first, let's go steal from the other guy. So if you go up and steal from him, you'll notice he has 4,000 coins on him. Just walk up behind him. Grab all 4,000. Bam. See what he's got on his tables. 3,000 pesos exactly. He has some good, st good stuff on his tables as usual, but it's nothing I really want. No, not you. And he has two more power armors. And he's got some more cash in here. Let's go see if that 1602 shows up on his body now. And it does. Go grab that. Bam. <clears throat> Let's go double check the first guy. Um, you can actually just, since you have all this money now, you can also drop all of these on here and still be able to afford it. So what else can we get for this? 9182. Actually, you could just drop all the money on the money on, on the counter. It doesn't matter. Say bye. Save it here, and then steal from him again. Bam. And let's take a look at my skill, steel skill, just so you guys understand. Uh, my skill still is at 10%. So 10% steel skill, it was that easy. I didn't even have to, I was save scummed anyway, just to be safe. But I didn't even have to, it looks like. If you leave this combat area before the fight finishes, be prepared for a bug or two. So be careful about it. Try to make sure the fight finishes first, and then run, run off. You run all the way back here and go to any one of these scavs that are here and just sneak up behind them, grab their weapons. You definitely want as many as you can get. Uh, we need to drop some stuff here. Uh, that's good. Definitely saves coming in, of course, because we are just cheesing the game. There's that. 
find the next person. I think maybe two more. Let's get two more. No, you don't. Stop moving around. No! Fuck, bitch! There we go. Alright, so that should get us enough, I think. Let's go find out. Okay, let's get a power armor. Alright, we just dump all three of these, and that's 2130. How much does this go? 50,000? Uh, I need more than that. Let's go get some more equipment. Also, these guys have equipment here, so... Oh hey, they got some they got some uh some jet antidote. That's nice. Jet antidote, super useful for a couple things. But it's and they also have three doses, because that's not too common. You don't get jet antidote. You don't get three doses of jet antidote from these guys too often. But that is uh that you definitely want jet antidote. Definitely grab a bunch of that. But you need way more than three doses is the only thing. Yeah, right here. Oh, so that's the Goss Rifle. He replaced the Goss Rifle, it looks like. Give me that. Nice. He's got something? Yep. Yeah. Go. Nope. Alright. There we go. Okay. I think I have enough now to go get the armor. I'm not sure if I can carry it all at once, but we'll find out. Now, I prefer to actually just ditch all the ammo out of these because the ammo sells separately. They don't, it doesn't increase the price that much. It can though. There are 350 rounds here. Uh, so 45,500 and with these 49,700. So that's another 4,000 or so, but I don't actually need that. I only need a power up 50,445. And I have this, all of this. Offer, talk, buy, steal my money back. There we go. What are you even doing in this mod? I'm confused. It looked like you just left Arroyo, but it says part five. Oh, I had to restart. I had to restart the mod because it was crashing and stuff. So there's that. There's the power armor. Let's give him this armor. Let's tell him to use the best armor he's got. Seriously? Leather armor mark two? Are you kidding me? That's better than the other armor. I gotta look at this then. Okay. Three, one, 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 25, 20, 25, 10, 25, 40. Two, zero, two, zero, three, zero, 30, 15, 20, zero, 30. Oh, I see. I guess in some ways. I mean, this armor class of 15, this armor class of 30. I guess if it's depending on... Okay, I guess. I guess. I can see that. What is this mod about? This is a uh, stalker mod uh, for in a Fallout 2 game, basically. Uh, I, will sh I will get back to the st actual stalker part in just a second. I'll show you. Let's go do some of the stalker stuff now. I just wanted to get my, my character at, uh, not leveled up that's not the right word but i wanted to get them some power armor and some cash and now we're just going to get out of here and we're going to head back to the actual stalker area which is this area here special get a couple of really cool new special encounters in this mod uh basically they're the, they're the original special encounters but they've been redesigned a little bit so it makes them actually kind of fun and unique seriously some aliens and death claws but they're working together come on Okay, we made it to the zone. We just got to get from the zone back to safety. Uh, that's not going to be so easy, though. Okay. Yay. All right, just get off me. Okay. Finally back in cordon. So here's the stalker side of everything. I need 20k monies or I can do jobs for this guy. So it appears that nobody else will actually give me work. So let's talk to Wolf. His stare makes you feel like a pupil. You're new here. Uh, sir, yes, sir. I, I guess. Smiling. 
Well, hello, rookie. They call me Wolf. Why, Wolf? Ask those who give the nicknames, although have not been amongst the living for some time. So I don't know if he means himself or the people who give him nicknames. So, <laughs> uh, anyway. And I am, as you see, well and alive. That's why I'm called Wolf. Stick by me and you'll stay alive too. So what business brings you here? Well, I guess that means that he is not referring to himself. Now I'm just going to say hi. Really? I'm leaving? Okay, hold on. I haven't seen all my money. About the doctor. Where the hell is the doctor? I haven't found our... I haven't found this place yet. Okay. Now, does it show up in my status? No, it doesn't. Okay. All right, so here's the new music for this map. Let's go grab some stuff. If there is stuff to grab. I don't believe that anybody on this map talks to you. Well, I mean, they do that weird thing, but it's pointless to do that, so. Go north straight up from the underground bunker. Um, how come? Also, what which underground bunker are you talking about? Straight from the underground, in, in, indeed. From the quest giver? Oh, okay. I thought he might have meant to go down here because that's where, uh, that's what popped up on my map. After talking to him, let's get, let's get back. Okay, so straight north, you're saying from here. Dude here? He didn't talk to me. That sucks. He knew when that happens. I tell you what, why don't we just have you wait here? There we go. Okay, this guy doesn't talk to me. Is that a grave marker? The grave marker reads R.A.P. Doug Scully. Finch, does Scully Finch. Date does not matter. Killed for smoking in the French market. Last words, donkey punches to ya. Oh, holy shit. There's a thing up here. There's another exit grid. I didn't even know about it. I wonder if this exit grid was even in 1.02. Maybe that was what I'm missing. All right. Actually, this is a quick way to check that. Let's, let's reload my earlier save. Here. So this was on the this is the the save that I started with 1.02 map, and it's it is here. Are you kidding me? Get off! A fucking dog! I swear. Holy shit! I had no idea this was here. Okay. So let's go find about this. Let's go find out about this. Oh, I need to go get my doggy. Oh no, that was that, that was dog meat. Never mind. This doggy won't follow me that way. Dog meat will. This is brand new to me. I did not see this the last time. It hurts for dance something something. No, doggies, doggies. Bastards for dance something something, I feel like. Ooh, what came with, came with the idea with a flare? What is this doggies, doggies? For God's sake, what are you doing? You're a flare, old man? Missed again is what he's saying, for dance. Oh god, doctor, the dogs died. Yes, they the blind dogs died. Yes, they did. Okay. All right, well, let's see. Talk, talk. Talk. Oh, that's my guy. Talk to this guy. Okay, let's see. Let's loot stuff real quick. You always got to loot first. You never know what you're going to come out with. Oh, let's try a lockpick. You nope, too complicated for me. All right. Can I not get in here, really? Yes, I can. Anything else? Some blood stain on the floor there. Looks to be about it. Okay. Let's talk to the doctor. 
You, sir, I am all ears. Do, do you need anything to sew up? To, to, to sew up? To cut off? Excuse me, are you Pavlov? Yes, that is absolutely correct. I am Pavlov, but who are you? My name is Lady Punchface. Sidorovich told me you need help with some, some, something. Something. What is that about? Oh, yes, even Sidorovich. Yes, yes, of course. You see, Lady Punchface, I studied physiology of dogs in the zone. Before that, I was interested in blind dogs, but it has been several years since they vanished. Thankfully, I discovered a new species, which I named Radwolves. It is a very rare animal and quite an elusive one. Could you bring me one such sample? And wouldn't that sample bite off my leg up to the neck? It would if you go without appropriate defense. But I have created a certain pheromone. Well, not really a pheromone. It is more of a high radioactive mixture. But I think this is exactly what attracts them. You should be safe with this test tube. Safe for the red wolves, not from radiation, of course. So, will you help me? Seems I've got no choice. Give me the magic cocktail. You've received a large dose of radiation. Here, take this. Just spray it on the animal and it will follow you anywhere. Or, more precisely, right at my place. Take the test tube and go hunting. How large a dose of radiation do I have? I have one thing in right away. Avla's run wondrous pheromone. The professor assures that this pheromone can affect wolves, making them loyal to the owner of the magic liquid, radioactive. I assume that hunt the hunt is commenced. That beast is really rare. I'm still searching. All right. Anything else to do here? Nope. There's an outhouse. Maybe there's something there. Oh, there's a grave. We're gonna dig that up. Nope, oh, just a toilet. Okay. Let's dig the grave up. What is this? Condensed milk, canned food. And canned food, okay. <laughs> canned food salmon. Old dent, but almost likely still edible. Canned food sprats. Are you sure you want to taste these delicacies? You better don't. You better don't. Condensed milk, a can of excellent condensed milk. The high energy value makes this stuff indispensable nowadays. Okay. So they sell one container inside the building that I cannot loot yet because I simply don't have the skills for it. So, all right, cool. All right. Thank you, Gloomshoe. Thank you, Gloomshoe. That's awesome, dude. I didn't even see that in my first playthrough. And I, I did a, I, I did a couple days of just trying to search around the map to figure out what the heck to do, and I never saw that. All right. That means that I need to go get a rad wolf. So let's do the rad wolf thing. That shouldn't be too difficult to do. Just go to junkyard. Or maybe nope, that's not rad wolves. Those are bloodsuckers. Nah. Okay, we're not gonna run into it there. So let's go find a rad wolf. There should be a couple down here. Is there a rad wolf here? There should be a rad wolf here. There's one right there. I knew it. Rad wolf. No, don't talk to the Okay, whatever. Let's let's use it on the red wolf. See what happens. He's green now. Can I talk to him. You have no idea what that monster is, but he is now following me around. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Can we can we murder things with the red wolf? There's a blood sucker over here. Let's go see if we can murder him. God damn, that thing is fucking scary. Let's get out of the way. I uh, did we win? He did die. There's nothing on him, of course, but nice. All right, cool. That counts. Beautiful. Oh shit, I am super radiated. I need some red eggs and some red away. That's right away here. Okay. Do I want more? I'd like more rad wolves, actually. Can I do that? I think there's one more rad wolf on one of these maps somewhere. Okay, so in this mod, uh, this version of S-Fall, you cannot see highlighted items that are outside of your viewable range. Uh, which is interesting, and I guess okay, but also lame. 
You can't get advanced intelligence, which is too bad. And I could have sworn there was another rad wolf somewhere around here. Just do not know where. I just want to get one more. But if I can keep this potion... Wait, where is he going? What the fuck? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> now he's coming back? Alright, cool. Wait, did he just disappear? No, there he is. God, he's hard to keep track of because he's so see-through. Is there another rad wolf over here? Ah, well, it was worth a try. Yeah, I don't see any other Red Wolves or any other Exegrades. Let's get out, then. Back to the actual Exegrade. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this guy in, I guess. That's too bad. Kind of wanted to keep him, because, oh my god, the, the Red Wolf? Freaking awesome. Can I talk to him? He only has 91 HP, so he's kind of weak on the HP points. But I wonder if he'll... I wonder if, he, I wonder if Red Wolves get level up. <laughs> get level ups. <laughs> Uh, anyway. Where the hell is he going? What the fuck? And he comes back again. Alright, fine. Okay. I assume the hunt commenced. The beast is really... Wait, wait, what? Don't you see it? Here's the beast prowling around. Where are you mocking me, young man? Oh, no. Wait, wait. That. The glowing spot. Oh, God. How peculiar. It is material? Oh, he must be put in the pin. Help me, please. Go to Pavlov's kennels with the yellow spot. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Excellent, yes. The, well, thank you very much. Here's a small reward, and uh, now you can come here for free, for a free healing. Medicine on a state budget? What? Medicine on a state budget? I'm getting uneasy from that, but thanks anyway, Professor. All the best. I don't know. Is that a, is that a, is that a Russian joke? <laughs> is that like a... I don't get it, but all right. That's what it is. You ought to have some medicines, right? Let's have a look. Ooh, we can actually get some medicine off them. Hey, some psycho. Nice. 3,055, I think. Yeah. Communism joke, is it? Okay. Okay, well, we finish this quest. Let's go ahead. No, don't, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, he didn't die. Ooh, that was close. There's that notification telling me he's at half health, though. Okay, let's talk about talk to this guy. That's gonna stay up. All right, fine. About the doctor. Uh, yes, yes, the task is completed. Now he has a semi-transparent beast in the zoo, which emits more radiation than a nuclear bomb. Got 3,400 XP. Damn. Hey, you've done it. I didn't. I didn't doubt you wouldn't let us down. Let's move on. Find a lad named Romantic. He's a nice boy, the son of the regiment. You could say he has had some trouble recently. Come on, go get to it nod and leave again i'm helping some riffraff blah, 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 blah. romantic son of the regiment some trouble recently doesn't tell me where can't find him damn it is he hiding somewhere exasperated sigh what that's fucking bullshit seriously admittedly <laughs> the fuck is he bombing his own guys die satan's butt pet okay fine <laughs> let's see who wins out of this one because i'm pretty sure the doggos are gonna win yep they're gonna win i'm just gonna oh well they killed they killed one the rad wolves are definitely kicking ass uh i guess i'll head for the exit grid and see what happens oh they got killed too all right uh they killed they killed them all, alright. Uh, did the stalkers attack me? No, let's loot this guy. Nice. Let's get out of here. I don't know where this guy's hiding. And it doesn't tell me, it doesn't tell me what the hell I'm looking for either, which is... Oh, here it is, desert status. Sidorovich, help romantic. Oh, here, here's help Pavlov. Okay, so here's the two quests. This wasn't showing up in the in the 1.02. Nice. Or at least I don't remember it showing up. Okay. Let's get up here. Use this on him where I can see him. Bam! Alright. Yeah! Now I got me a doggo. Let's go murder them. Murder them all. I'll name him Vic. 
Oh, you know what? Oh my god, it's quarter after 10. Guys, I'm gonna have to call the stream here in just a second. I don't know. Uh, I guess this is probably a good place to call, call the stream because I don't know where I can find this guy. And that's just... Uh, <laughs> we're just back here trying to figure out where the hell everything is. So I'll have to find this guy. We'll, we'll do it tomorrow. Let's go and take a look at what you got, Step. And whoa! These, this is awesome. You, you posted this on Discord, right? 